Alright, so super impromptu video. I wore this tank top today just for fun and I was like, hmm, maybe I should film that uh, my experience working at Hooters video when I come home because it's kind of popular on YouTube and I have some experience working there. I don't work there anymore, but I worked there like two years ago for eight months. And yeah, I have some things to share about it and I'm wearing the tank top already. So yeah, it's just easy that way. Anyway, so let's get into it. I literally just walked into the one in my town. So they basically hired me on the spot. Um, I went for an interview. I wore this purple floral tank top, jeans, and flip-flops I applied during the summer. And then he was just like, okay, you're hired. You can start next week. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, the interview process was pretty short. I think it was like 15 minutes. He basically told me you have to smile a lot like that's like the number one thing and to always be really really positive and happy and bubbly all the time which I'm trying to be more in my videos because I feel like I sound really dull in my videos when I'm in real life I'm like way different so anyway yeah I think that was like the only criteria they really don't care like what boob size you have um, I noticed that like some of the girls work there like they would wear two bras because um, they they had like small boobs, but they don't really care. Like the, the uh, employers don't really care. They just want you to be really cute and really happy all the time. Yeah, so that was the interview process, really short. Basically what I had to do, I had to take two tests, one about the food and then one about how to work there. So it was like what's on the menu, like the wings, the dressings, the, the different kinds of sauces too. Oh my god, sorry, this light is really, really bothering me, so I'm, I can't film like this. I, I'm not going to make this video too long because this light is giving me a legit headache right now. But um, yeah, so I took the two quizzes and it was like seven steps on how to greet people. That was like a little bit of memorization, but it wasn't too bad. Um, actually working there, I guess it was fun some days, but you definitely deal with like a lot of creepy people, like guys writing their phone numbers on the receipts when they're done, or I don't know, guys telling me from other tables, hey that guy was like staring your ass, like yeah I'm sure that's been happening all day now. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of weird moments like that. Some nice parts that I do remember was that guys did tips super well, like I think one time the bill for this one guy was like $20 and then he paid $60 so I basically got like a $40 tip which is twice as much as his food cost so that was pretty nice oh yeah there's also like this one guy who would come in like this really tall guy he was like really nice but he kind of like a little bit weird he would literally like ask every worker there like all the everyone the old ones and new new ones he would literally ask us all to like take pictures like take to ask us to take a picture and then he would come back like our next shift and print them out and frame them. I think mine's in the car. I should have brought it for this video. Never mind, I actually found it was in my closet. Ta-da! Me with dark hair. So yeah, that's me. Yeah, he like did that and like he would bring us flowers and candy. I couldn't continue the video with that light in my face because it was hurting me too much. So hopefully this lighting is okay. Um, would I work there again? Probably not because the one that I worked at was pretty dead. Um, the one in my town at least. Like, I know some Hooters are like very busy. I'm sure the ones in New York are really busy, but yeah, the one that I was working at was kind of dead. Sometimes, like it was only busy either like on the weekends or like when there was a game or something. And then there was also this other time where I don't know, I remember one girl stole like money from someone else, like her entire paycheck because you basically only get paid for tips. I think the, the amount you make is like $2.40 an hour or something, like something ridiculous. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, this one girl, she basically stole all her money. Like she just left her, I guess her waiter, waitress, the folder you put all your money in, she left it somewhere and she stole it all so there's definitely some drama surrounding that, I don't know but it was just like some of the girls you work with there are just really shady and yeah I just, I don't know, after a while I just kind of quit like I told, like I just told them that like I'm not gonna work there anymore after like eight months and it was alright, I mean the wings were so good though like we didn't really get free food or anything, sorry my phone but 
yeah, sometimes we could we get like discounted food for lunch, which is kind of stupid. Like I feel like they should just feed us, but yeah. That's all I really have for this video. I mean, it was okay. It was fun, but I don't think I would do it again. But I got two tank tops out of it, so <laughs> I have this one and then a black one that looks like really similar to this. So it's not terrible. Um, yeah, but I don't really wear them just to say like, oh, I used to work there. Like this is literally the first time I've like worn this since like I stopped working there, which is a while ago. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it's kind of worrying or whatever, or there's like not much point to it, but hope you guys enjoyed anyway, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!